This is a quick video to show how to find all the zeros of this fourth degree polynomial given that one of the zeros is a complex zero, negative two plus i. Well, first of all, we recognize that all complex zeros travel in conjugate pairs. So if we have one of them being negative two plus i, then we have to have a second zero at negative two minus i. And we're gonna use that with long division to figure this problem out. So since we have the zero negative two plus i, we have the other zero negative two minus i. Zeros allow us to find factors. We know that a factor is always x minus a zero. So this is gonna be x minus negative two plus i. And then for the other zero, x minus negative two minus i. We know that factors mean these are parts that we could multiply and we will get a product and that product will also be a divisor of this fourth degree polynomial. So by multiplying this, we, we simplify it, and then we notice, oh, this got x plus two, and over here we've got x plus two. This is no different than saying a plus b i, I'm mean, excuse me, a plus, a minus b times a plus b, which is the difference of two squares. So we get x plus two quantity squared that I multiplied out. We get minus i squared, which is minus negative one, which we write as positive one, and then we simplify it. And here we have this quadratic, x squared plus four x plus five. And this is a factor of the original polynomial. Since it's a factor, we can divide by, use it as a divisor. So we're gonna take that original polynomial and we're going to divide it by the quadratic we just found using long division. So using long division, I'm saying x times what is x to the fourth? Well, that'd be x squared. So then we multiply the divisor by all of that. And this next step is one I want to make sure, this is where people made mistakes on the quiz, make sure you are subtracting all of those terms from the polynomial. And when you do that, you end up getting 9x squared plus 36x plus 45, okay? And now we do the same thing. We say x squared times what is 9x squared? Well, that would be 9. Now we're going to multiply the divisor by 9, all the terms, and then, once again, subtract. And lo and behold, every single one of the terms is gone. There's no remainder, which means x squared plus 9 is the other factor. These two factors, this divisor and this quotient, when you multiply them, you will get the dividend. You will get what's under the, the um, division symbol. And so we, all we need to do now is find the zeros of the quotient. And we subtract the 9, and we take the square root, and we get 3i and negative 3i, because we had this negative 9 that we take the square root of. Now remember, that means we needed to find all the zeros. That was the original question. We were given one of the zeros was negative 2 plus i, so we wrote its conjugate. And then we used those to create the divisor x squared plus 4x plus 5. And then by doing the division, we had a quadratic to solve whose solutions were 3i and negative 3i. And those are all the zeros of this fourth degree polynomial. We have four zeros and none of them are real, meaning there are no x-intercepts for this fourth degree polynomial. This does not cross the x-axis. Okay. Now this was just one method. This was doing this problem with long division. We took the two factors, we multiplied them that, uh, as factors, found a different divisor, did long division. Now, method number two, same problem, but method number two is using synthetic division. And what we're gonna do is we're going to divide by two complex zeros because we know one of the zeros was negative two plus i, so therefore the other zero is negative two minus i. So here I have set up my synthetic division to do two divisions. Look very carefully at how this is set up that I'm already ready to do the two divisions. And I've already put in zero for my remainder because we know, we were told that this is a zero and we know it's, it's um, conjugate is going to be a zero. So let's do the, the um, synthetic division. There's a little bit of multiplication involved here. So we bring down the one and now we have to multiply one times negative two plus i. Well, that's just negative two plus i. And again, we're gonna add, we add like terms. So we're gonna add the four and the negative two, which is gonna give us two and we still have plus i, so we have two plus i. 
Now we have to multiply this complex number, negative 2 plus i, times this complex number, 2 plus i. So over here, I'm going to write, stack them, and I'm going to do that multiplication straight down to get real. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and then i times i is negative 1. And then we do the um, 2 times i is 2i, and negative 2 times i is negative 2i. Collecting like terms on the outside here, we get just negative 5. And that's what we're going to write in our synthetic division over here, where we multiply the divisor, the, the 0, times this one here, and we put it to the next column, negative 5. Now we add 14 and negative 5 and get 9. Now we're going to multiply the 9 times r0, negative 2 plus i. We have that. Just multiply both, both terms times 9. And we're going to add 36 minus 18 is positive 18, and we still have positive 9i. And now we have another pair of complex numbers to multiply. So I'm going to stack them over here. And we're going to do the multiplication. Multiply straight down to get real and x for complex. So when we multiply straight down, we got negative 36 minus 9, which gives us negative 45. And when we did the x here, we got 18 times i is 18i. And negative 2 times 9 is negative 18i. Collecting like terms, it's just negative 45. So we write that over here in our synthetic division. Add them together, we get 0. Okay, we've finished the first division. Now we're going to move on to the second division. We bring down the 1. We multiply by negative 2 minus i and write it in the next column. Add these two together, and lo and behold, the i's are gone. We have 2 minus 2. Well, that's gone also. And i minus i is, so there's nothing. And then 0 times negative 2 minus i, well, that's nice. That's just 0. I add 9 plus 0, and I get 9. Now, don't forget, you got to multiply that 9 times negative 2 minus i. So 9 times negative 2 is negative 18, and then 9 times negative i is negative 9i. And I add it with the, the one right above, and we get 0, and yeah, no remainder. So therefore, this is our final answer from the division, which equates to x squared plus 0x plus 9, or just x squared plus 9. Set it equal to 0 and solve, just like we did before. And we have these two answers, 3i and negative 3i, which tells us that all the zeros of this polynomial was the one that was first given, it's conjugate, and then we found 3i and negative 3i, and this is method number two. Does it matter which method you use? No, not at all. You can either use method number one with long division that we went through, where we took those factors and multiplied them and then did long division, or you can use synthetic division where you divide by the complex number and then divide by its conjugate. This one just requires a little bit more multiplication of complex numbers, but it's very doable. You get to choose whichever method you like.